Hey guys, it's Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group, and in today's video, we're going to talk about what is a direct inward dial number, also called a DID. So let's get right into it. So, what is a direct inward dial number or DID? So, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to call it a DID for short. So, this video isn't astronomically long, um, but just remember that means direct inward dial number also known as acronym D as in dog, I as in ice cream, D as in dog. So again, what is a DID and what is its purpose? So for those of you who know us or that have seen our advertising or seen us online or anything like that, you know that our main number is 804-767-2136. That is not a direct inward dial number. It is not our DID. That is our main number as it always has been for the past now close to 12 years. Um, what you may not know, is that the phone that is on my desk actually has a separate number that is assigned to my extension. My internal extension in our phone system is extension 402. However, obviously, for those of you who know how phone systems and extensions work, nobody from the out from with outside your system can dial your extension. If they want to get to you directly without having to call your main number and get, say, the gatekeeper, the front desk receptionist, or the auto attendant, they have to dial what's called your DID. So, again, our main number is 804-767-2136. It's also the number that calls up, comes up on the caller ID when we contact people in the outside world, like other businesses, clients, people on their cell phones, so on and so forth. The number you don't see, that is my DID, direct and dial number, is 804-741-0090. Now, what is this and what is the purposes of this? Basically, what it is is, for example, let's say that I'm talking to, uh, we'll just say, let's say I'm talking to my financial advisor or something like that for my personal investments. It has nothing to do with my business, but I've called from the office. Um, he may, he or she may say, hey, you know, let me work on these numbers and get back with you with some options. What's a good number I can call you at? So that when they call, they don't get my auto attendant and have to, you know, go through like an auto attendant that says, welcome to Rich Technology Group, press one for this, press two for that, so on and so forth. Or if you're somebody watching this that's a larger company that has like a gatekeeper or you have multiple departments within your company so that this person back in our scenario doesn't have to call in and go through all of those hoops to get to me, I can just say, hey, call me at my direct number. Most people call it direct. Um, is like if you look at business cards, you'll see something on a lot of people's business cards that says direct. What that number is, is it's a number that goes directly to that person's phone on their desk directly to that extension. It bypasses, like I said, going to the auto tenant, going past the, uh, the front desk receptionist, the gatekeeper, bypasses all other departments and goes straight to you. So in short, that's what a DID is. A direct inward dial number is basically a number that you have that is assigned to the different extensions or different phones throughout an office so that people can contact and get to a particular person or particular department without having to go through a main number and go, you know, on and on and on and so on and so forth. Um, most of you who are watching this that are wondering, okay, what is a DID? What is a direct inward dial number? You've probably used them a hundred times over and never realized that you're actually using it. For example, I'm sure that you, uh, when you have say called Amazon or something like that, you don't call Amazon's corporate headquarters number. You call like their customer service number or you call their returns department or their a to Z guarantee department or their, you know, taxation, you know, department. If you're a reseller for Amazon and you need to talk to the people about how you should or shouldn't be taxing for a particular item, you don't call Amazon headquarters. You would call that direct dial number to take it even a step further. Even though I don't personally know Jeff Bezos, some of you out there might, you know, he's obviously the CEO and founder of Amazon. If you wanted to reach Jeff Bezos, you're not going to dial the 1-800-AMAZON number, you would probably know Jeff Bezos' direct number to the office. So he probably has a direct number that he only hands out to a certain few privileged persons to get directly to him and bypass the potentially hundreds of thousands of employees that you would have to go through and thousands of departments you'd have to go through to get to just him. So in short, that's what a DID is. Now, what is the advantage of, of them for not only those of you who are watching that are a small business, but even like a startup business. Some of the really cool advantages of a DID number is the appearance of looking bigger. 
you have a different number. So you could assign one or more numbers to different departments. Even though you may not be a large company, you may only have, let's say, three or four people within your organization. One person may handle accounting. Another person may handle stock count and what you guys have in supply. Another person may handle like order processing and things like that so that somebody doesn't have to contact your company at one number and waste not only your time, but other people's time saying, hey, you know, where's this person? How do I find them? You could literally put on your website or put in a directory the different numbers. Say, this number is for shipping. This number is for inventory. This number is for past due invoices and so on and so forth. And this number is for sales and things like that. So you can segment it so that not only does it kind of lessen the call load that you have to deal with, of having to pass calls off to people and things like that, it'll also help your clients and contacts get where they need to go within your organization faster. So in short, a direct inward dial number or DID or what you would see as just direct on people's business cards is usually how they'll have it for short. It is basically any numbers that you want to assign that can help route calls to a specific place, person, or department without somebody having to always call your main number. One other point that I wanted to throw out there that direct uh, dial numbers can be good for is for long-term or temporary marketing use. For example, let's say that your company is going to run like a sweepstakes or something like that for uh, a holiday or you're going to do a hotline let's say you have a hotline where for a short period of time you would have a bunch of people calling in this may be a phone number that you put in certain areas where you're going to expect to not only get legitimate callers but you might also get people that are spam callers or trying to sell you something or robo calls or whatever it may be so a lot of times it's a good thing to use a direct inward dial number even for long-term or temporary purposes for large marketing projects or big undertakings for like a specific marketing purpose. This way you're not plastering your main number out to the masses in areas where you wouldn't normally want to be putting it out to, you know, albeit say putting it out to people that aren't necessarily your normal target market for whatever temporary marketing or sweepstakes you've got going on or putting it out to people that aren't your target market at all. Like that may contact you as spam, or may publish your number in areas where you wouldn't want it published or to be solicited uh, to. So um, anyways, that wraps up the video. What is a direct and redound number, otherwise called a DID? Um, again, my name is Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group. If any of you watching the video have any questions about a direct and redound number is, how you could get some for your business, or how they may benefit your business, feel free to call me or email me and let me know how I can help out in any way. I'll chat with you again in the next video.